well, now that we've planted a new vineyard, let's find out some of the pests that might be affecting that vineyard so we can prepare for them. The juvenile spittle bug is easy to spot, as the name mentions. The juveniles are feeding on the xylem by piercing and sucking. They cover themselves with bubbles that come out the other end, making them hard to control unless systemic insecticides are used. This is the adult with the classic strong face structure that continues to vector disease by sucking the xylem. The notorious glassy-winged sharpshooter that is native to the southeastern United States has spread its territory and now is one, uh, the number one vector for Pierce's disease. This is a sharpshooter uh, I collected on a sticky card in the vineyard. You are looking at it through a dissecting scope. I have only collected three sharpshooters this year and they do not appear to be glassy-winged. The leafhopper is also problematic but much smaller in size. Uh, you notice the piercing, sucking mouth parts on it as well. This is a, a product of a nightlight trap in southeastern Arizona. Notice the many green leaf hoppers in the corner. This stink bug or shield bug is known to cause economic loss in fruit orchards, but work is still being done to determine it if it is a disease vector. Uh, these pictures are the petioles, which were taken of a Negro Amaro vineyard. I thought this was a fungal issue, but it turns out these are eggs from a cicada-like insect that lives under the ground. This, it's in the Cicidaceae family, and they're not known to cause much problems uh, in the grapes, but it's very distinct and noticeable in the vineyard. Uh, the grape leaf skeletonizer, these are the juveniles, and then we also have a picture following up a, a, of the adult. And uh, these can easily be removed manually or controlled biologically with bacteria or Bt. You want to get the first generation under control so you do not have